and welcome to No Recipe Required. My name is Dave and tonight I've got another chicken dish for you. I'm always doing chicken dishes because we all eat a lot of chicken and I know we don't want to eat boring chicken. So what we're going to do, I've got a chicken breast, the boneless skinless chicken breasts that are all over the place. We're just going to sear it off quickly but we're going to jazz it up with a little bit of a mushroom cream sauce. I happen to be using some chanterelle mushrooms which are wild mushrooms but you can use this really with uh, with any kind, whatever, with any type, whatever your preference is. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's go ahead and get started on our chicken with mushroom cream sauce. First thing we're going to do is actually saute the uh, the mushrooms because they're going to end up taking a lot longer to cook than the chicken. I happen to be using some uh, chanterelle mushrooms here, which I picked up obviously at the store. A little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper. You can, uh, you can use this with, it, with any type of mushroom you want. You just want to dice them up into kind of bite-sized pieces. And use more than you think because the mushrooms as they cook down are going to get, uh, are going to um, shrink down quite a bit. I'm going to let these go for probably 10 minutes, uh, man, 10 to 15 minutes over medium-high heat until they're really cooked down and uh, all that water inside the mushroom is, is evaporated. Okay, anywhere from, you know, 8 to 15 minutes your mushrooms are going to start to look like this, nicely brown, you know, crispy on the inside or on the outside. The little specks of mushrooms will get kind of crunchy, which is exactly what we're looking for. I'm going to add, I've got a diced shallot here and a minced garlic clove and just a pinch of thyme. I'm using dried thyme. If you got fresh, all the better. I'm going to turn the heat down to like medium low here and uh, just soften up that uh, that shallot and garlic. I'm not looking for any color and my pan actually looks a little dry so I'm going to add a touch more olive oil and I'm just going to let these um, like I said soften up. The only thing to be careful, the only thing you can kind of mess up here is uh, burning the garlic which you want to make sure you don't do which you can make sure you don't do by turning the heat down. So once these are soft I'm going to remove them to a, uh, a holding plate and then we're going to come back, we're going to cook our chicken breasts right in the same pan. Okay, so I just removed my mushrooms from the pan. I'm going to add a little bit more olive oil because it was looking dry. And then I'm going to lay in my chicken breasts. You want to get you know, a good hot sizzle on the pan. I'm actually cooking three chicken breasts. So just lay them down, not too crowded on the pan. Depending on the size of the chicken breasts, um, the probably thin ones will just cook right on the stove top here. If necessary, you can throw them in the oven, um, like 350 to get them cooked through. <clears throat> okay, after five or six minutes, it's time to turn our chicken. You left that nice golden brown sear on the uh, on the other side, and I'm just gonna let these go on the uh, on this side for probably another four minutes or so. I just want them cooked through, and then we're gonna uh, pull them off. Okay, our chicken is cooked through, so I'm just gonna grab these throw them to a holding plate and then um, actually just cover them with some aluminum foil to keep them nice and warm and then I'm going to add my mushrooms back to my tray back to my pan here and add some cream probably a uh, half a pint's worth and that's going to deglaze the pan take up all those yummy little chicken bits and then um, obviously infuse with the mushrooms. Just going to reduce this down by half and then um, add back the chicken and serve it up. Okay, doesn't take long to thicken up that sauce. We're going to kill the heat. If, uh, if you end up over reducing it, you can always just add a little bit more cream or even, uh, even water to thin it out. We are, uh, we're good to go. Let's go ahead and plate this up. Okay, let's go ahead and plate up. I like to put you know, dishes like this. I think it's kind of cool presentation go ahead and put my sauce on the bottom of the plate and then um, take my chicken and just lay it right on top make sure we don't splatter our plate I happen to have a little bit of wild rice that I'm serving with the uh, with the chicken spoon that on and then a nice side of some green beans and lay those guys laying them up like that gives a nice little presentation effect 
And there we go. Chicken with mushroom cream sauce. I'll see you next time on No Recipe Required.